Welcome brothers and sisters to day 8 of Lent and our reflection verse here is if in my name you ask me for anything I will do it that comes from John 14 14 which is one of my favorite verses in scripture and so for our theme today we have ask for anything that's just incredible to just think about the word asking and you're being asked to ask for anything so we are going to begin in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen father lord we thank you once more for this day we thank you for another opportunity to come into your presence. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for the gift of our families, our friends, our spouses, our children, our neighbors, our colleagues, our jobs, our homes, our cars, all of our possessions, Father. And we thank you for creation for the earth, for the planets, for the sea, for the sky, for the birds, for the fish, for everything really that you created, my God. We thank you because you are an awesome God. We thank you because you are a merciful God. You are a forgiving God. You are a loving God, a caring God, a wonderful God, a marvelous God. You are the ancient of days, O oh Lord the unchangeable changer, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Father, we glorify your name, we adore you, we worship you. We exalt your holy name, O Lord, and thank you. Thank you so much for this new day, the miracle of work, waking up this morning, the fact that we are alive, the breath in our lungs. God, we are just so thankful, just so thankful. You are the lion of the tribe of Judah, the great I am that I am. You are the mighty man in battle. Oh Lord, we praise your holy name. We ask you to show us your mercy for the many times we've fallen short of your glory, oh Lord. We regret the sins of our lives. We regret our past sins. We regret any sins we committed knowingly or unknowingly today in thought, in word, or in deed. We reject them, O oh Lord, and we say we are sorry. Cleanse us from these sins, wash us from these sins, pardon us from these sins, sins by the blood of the Lamb that flowed from His side. O oh Lord, we want to invite the gift of your Holy Spirit, the presence of your Holy Spirit, our Comforter, our Consoler, our advocate to be with us during this prayer session today. We pray that you purify our atmosphere, purify the environment where we are, purify these grounds on which we stand, for we know that when, where two or more are gathered, you are in their midst. And right now, if anyone is watching me, then we are together and your presence is right here. And we are standing on holy ground, O oh Lord. May your Holy Spirit stay with us throughout this, this session and even afterwards. For the petitions we will, we will be lifting up before you today, Father, we ask you to bless them for us, please. We ask you to meet us at our point of need and manifest your glory in our lives and in our prayer petitions this day. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. So we continue with our reflection now. I think we're going to have the word. No, we will start with some praise and worship. We are grateful, O oh Lord. We are grateful, O oh Lord. For all you have done for us, we are grateful, O oh Lord. We are grateful, O oh Lord. 
we are grateful, O oh Lord, for all you have done for us. We are grateful, O oh Lord. It is a great thing to serve Jesus. It is a great thing to serve Jesus. It is a great thing to serve Jesus, walking in the light of God. Oh, walk, walk, walk in the light, oh, walk, walk, walk in the light, oh, walk, walk, walk in the light. Walk in the light of God. We are walking 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 in the light of God, light of God. We are walking, we are walking, we are walking in the light of God. We are walking, we are walking, we are walking in the light of God. We de inside God light. We de inside God light. Nous marchons dans la lumière de Dieu. Nous marchons dans la lumière de Dieu. We de waka, we de waka, we de waka inside God in light. Nous marchons, nous marchons, nous marchons dans la lumière de Dieu. Praising the Lord. Always praising the Lord, always praising the Lord with all my heart, praising the Lord with all my heart, always. My God is good, my God is good, my God is good, is good to me. My God is good, my God is good, my God is good, is good to me. Glorious God, beautiful King, excellent God, I bow before your throne, glorious God, beautiful King, excellent God, I bow before your throne, I bow before your throne. I worship at your feet, I bow before your throne, you are the glorious God, I bow before your throne, worship at your feet, I bow before your throne, you are the glorious God, glorious God, beautiful King, excellent God, I bow before your throne, glorious God, beautiful King, excellent God, I bow before your throne, I bow before your throne, I 
worship at your feet. I bow before your throne. You are the glorious God. Bow before your throne. Worship at your feet. Bow before your throne. You are the glorious God. Bow before your throne, worship at your feet, and bow before your throne, you are the glorious God. <clears throat> so our scripture reading for today is going to be from Matthew 7, 7 to 12. NRSV version. So it reads, you can read with me please. Ask and it will be given to you. Search and you will find. Knock and the door will be open for you. For everyone who asks receives and everyone who searches finds. And for everyone who knocks the door will be opened. Is there anyone among you who, if your child asks for bread, will give a stone? Or if the child asks for a fish, will give a snake? If you then, who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children how much more will your father in heaven give good things to those who ask him in everything do to others as you would have them do to you for this is the law and the prophets The word of the Lord, or in fact, this is the gospel of the Lord for today. So the gospel of the Lord, praise to you, our Lord Jesus Christ. So for our reflection, I've just highlighted, as I would normally do, some key words. And in verse 7, I've highlighted the words, ask, search, knock. Ask. When you ask, is because you lack something and you need something. When you search, is because you either have something that you've kept somewhere and you're looking for it, or you've lost it. When they say knock, we're looking at a closed door and to walk through that door, you need to knock, so that it can be opened and then you can walk through it. Aren't there times in our lives when we feel like we are standing against a brick wall, we want to do something or go forward, but we are static and we are not going anywhere, we're not moving forward. It always looks like all doors have been shut down. I want us to just think about the possibility of breaking that kind of barrier how do you get that door open? How do you find a way of knocking the closed doors in your life so that they are open? In verse 8, we are being told what will happen when we ask, search and knock. Normally, this is when you do it relentlessly. You don't do, just do a one off and then you go off and you're, you despair. Persistence is part of the game. So when you're persistent in asking, in searching and in knocking, you receive, you find, and the door opens. And verse 11, in fact, before verse 11, verse 9 to 10, tells us something very interesting about parent-child relationship. Think about the relationship you have with your kids, if you've got any or the relationship you had with your parents or carers. Would a child ask their parents something and their parents not want 
to give it to them. Parents always love their children. Of course, you don't want to spoil them. There are times when you might say no because you've made a judgment and you've probably seen that what your child is asking, they don't really need. And so you make a judgment because you know your child. And of course, it's a two-way relationship. Your child as well begins to know you. And then they begin to realize, hmm, if I ask this from mom, she will tell me I don't need it. She might say no. Or if I ask this from dad, he will ask me why. He might give it. He might not give. So children start knowing their parents and then understanding the mind of their parents and how they, their parents' minds work. And then they know what they can ask. It's the same kind of thing here where you're thinking about your heavenly father. The more you know him, the closer you get to him, the more you understand what you actually should ask. When you need something, you, you know, you kind of align with his will. You understand what he can grant. So verse 11 says, if you then who are evil know how to give good gifts, how much more will your father in heaven? I don't think I need to reiterate that or re-explain it. Like if we humans who are sinful know how to love our children and give them good things, how much more of our Heavenly Father, our loving Father, who is pure goodness, pure love, pure generosity, and who wants the best for us? I've picked up two verses that I really like to share with you as a support, as supporting verses to this, this particular gospel reading and reflection. And we're going to look at 1 John 5, 14 to 15. It just emphasizes and says, and this is the boldness we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, Whatever we ask, we know that we have obtained the request made of him. I love the word knowing. The word knowing. When you know someone, you know that you know. Knowing. Knowing is a word that shows intimacy. There is a relationship there to a certain degree that is beyond platonic and superficial relationships. So when you know that your father hears you in whatever you ask you know that you will retain whatever you're asking from him that is the confidence that we want to build as children of god we want to get to that level i want to get to the level where i know him so much that if i ask something from him i have no doubt no doubt that he's giving it to me no doubt whatsoever. You ask with confidence. You don't ask doubting. Ah, well, God. No, you know that he will do it. He might not do it right now when I want it, but he will do it. And with great confidence as you're asking, you start thanking before he even does it. So that's one thing I wanted to share with you. And then my favorite verse. This is John 14, 13 to 14. Jesus told his disciples, I will do whatever you ask in my name so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. So that the Father may be glorified in me. If in my name you ask me for anything, I will do it. So it's not just about asking carelessly and saying, oh, in Jesus' name I pray. When you're asking, you have to believe. You have to know that when Christ said he would do it, he meant it. It's a, it has a little bit to do with faith, how strong our faith is. And we have to build it and continue to pray for more graces to not despair and, and forget about the, 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 the effectiveness of his word, that it will come to fruition, that he will fulfill it and we will not go away empty when we come in his presence and ask. I just want us to believe it and hold on to that. So glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. So I'm going to invite you now to lift up any private personal petition that you have in your heart that you really want the Lord to bless you with. Remember, we are on a 40 days journey 
Lenten retreat. We are taking a step away from the world, reassessing a couple of things in our lives. This is something we should be doing all year round. But just in case you forget to do this in, in the course of the year, this period of Lent is just for you to, to come back to God and ask yourself certain questions. So now lift your petitions before the Lord. I'll give you a couple of seconds to do that. Amen. Amen. Father, Lord, I just want to thank you. Thank you immensely for hearing the petitions that we, your sons and your daughters, have lifted right now before you. You know our every need, my God. You know our hearts. You see us inside and out. Father, we ask you to bless us, bless our petitions. Bless our minds, our thoughts, our actions. Bless our projects. Heal our physical illnesses, wounds, spiritual illnesses and wounds. Heal all that has broken emotionally, spiritually and physically in us. Father, meet us at our point of need, O oh Lord. We bless your holy name, oh my God. We surrender everything to your perfect will, oh Lord. We ask you to transform us and transform our lives inside and out, Father. Your word does not go away from your mouth and return back to you empty. And you have said, oh Lord, that whatever your children ask of you, you will give. We stand by this word and trust, oh Lord that you are blessing us now, you're answering our petitions, you're meeting each one of us at our points of need, you're strengthening us in any of our distress, whatever is troubling us right now, you're meeting us and lightening our mood and restoring every single thing that is broken, every relationship that is tarnished. We just wanna thank you, Father. And may we, as your word says today, trust in you, believe, have faith that you hear us. May we ask with faith. May we seek and knock with faith, Father, believing that nothing is impossible for you and that you are a covenant keeping God. You are one who, who keeps to your promises and you cannot say that you will answer our needs and be there for us and fill us. So we trust in you and we thank you and we bless your holy name. Amen. For our closing prayer of thanksgiving, we're going to read Psalm 138, verse 1 to 3 and 7 to 8 together. So if you can join me, please. I give you thanks, O Lord, with my whole heart. Before the gods, I sing your praise. I bow down towards your holy temple and give thanks to your name for your steadfast love and your faithfulness. For you have exalted your name and your word above any, everything. On the day I called, you answered me. You increased my strength of soul. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you preserve me against the wrath of my enemies. You stretch out your hand, and your right hand delivers me. The Lord will fulfill his purpose for me. Your steadfast love, O Lord, endures forever. Do not forsake the work of your hands. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Saints Joseph, pray for us. Our Lady, help of Christians, pray for us. All the angels and the saints of heaven, pray for us in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. So I just want to thank you for joining me today. 
and I wish you all the very best. Have a lovely day. May the Lord bless your going and your coming this day. May his spirit be with you. May his special anointing fall upon you this day. And just remember, if there's anything in your heart that you want to ask him with faith and love all day today, as you're going about your businesses, just keep asking him. Ask, seek, knock with confidence and with faith. God bless you all and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.